Darkness is a mysterious and even chilling word. There are many forms of darkness, some of them literal, and others are metaphoric. In Parashat Bo, we learn about the Maka of Choshech, the plague of darkness that was visited upon the Egyptian people. About that darkness, the Torah says, Lo ra'u ish et achiv, lo kamu ish mitachtav, shloshet yamim. This was not a darkness of night. This was a darkness that could be felt. It was a darkness that prohibited people from moving about freely. That was the Egyptians. The Jewish people, however, were spared that darkness. Not only were they spared the absence of light, they actually had a bright light in their homes. There are other forms of darkness, however, that are not just that absence of light. Very often, when people choose to ignore the needs and the emergencies of their fellow man, they create a darkness. They create a situation in which they choose not to see. They choose not to feel the suffering of other people. That is also a form of darkness. The Egyptian people were such a nation. They were self-serving. They didn't have empathy nor sympathy for themselves, and certainly not for those enslaved by Paro. The Jewish people, on the other hand, despite their suffering, despite the oppression, were in tune to the needs and the suffering of others. They looked to help in any way they could, even the smallest ways possible. This, among other things, was a merit for their redemption. And this concept is actually hinted to in that very same pasuk of darkness. If we read about the Egyptians, lo ra'u ish et achiv, v'lo kamu ish mitachtav, a person chose not to see his brother, meaning his suffering or his needs, and a person chose not to get up to help that person in need. But among the Jewish people, it says, <laughs> To all of the Jewish people, because they were unified, because they looked out for one another, they cared for the suffering of their fellow man, <laughs> there was light in their homes. By looking out for others, we create a light amongst that darkness, a light that can bring unity, peace, and the final redemption.